filmed this entire thrift haul and then my storage ran out and it didn't save. So I'm doing it again. Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Brooke and I'm the owner of the shop, Expired Threads on Depop and Instagram. And I'll have them popped up right here so you can give them a follow. So I've been posting like more mini thrift hauls on TikTok and I'll put that right here too if you wanna follow that because that's more of like a day-to-day -day update um, more than I do on here. Give it like a day or two and all this stuff that I'm showing will probably be listed on my Depop. The first thing I'm gonna show you is this amazing bootleg, fake, whatever, Chanel, little tote bag, little beach bag, whatever. This was 99 cents, you guys. Like, I'm definitely not leaving something like this. This thing is this really cute front and back butterfly candle. Like, I'm never going to burn this because like whoever would destroy this beautiful piece of artwork. I'm definitely gonna put this on the shelf or something. Next piece is super iconic. These Skechers chunky boots with the little fisheye logo right there. The bottoms look brand new, barely worn, like a couple of times probably. And these are a size six and a half and they're already listed on my Depop. Um, unfortunately, that's not my size, but that forced me to sell them, which is good because these are worth a pretty penny. Adorable little teddy bear backpack purse. Cute ad adjustable straps on it so it's not like a child size. You can barely fit it over your shoulders. It actually fits really well. Next thing I thrifted is this adorable shoulder under the armpit Dooney and Burke bag. It has that really pretty heart um, charm right there. And it is kind of distressed on the bottom. So I think I'm gonna keep it for myself. Only got it for $5. So I've already got my stuff in here. I also thrifted this super cute Powerpuff Girls wallet. It's like a tri-fold wallet. And it has my stuff in there right now. But yeah, that's adorable. It's so rare to find Powerpuff Girls stuff. That was like 25 cents too, so. The next thing we found, Robbie actually found this, is this Road Rules MTV hat. And it has, um, what does it say? Enjoy Citra on the back. I'm pretty sure that's like some kind of soda. Honestly, I couldn't tell you, so I'm probably wrong. But it's something like that. But that's really cool. It's got like an embroidered patch. Next thing I have is this really cool bucket hat from DKNY in the 90s. Show you the tag there and then yeah you can wear it like this or you can like fold the sides of it and make it like this found this awesome ice cream front and back t-shirt next one I found is this Osiris shoes t-shirt has that on it and then it has where is it shoulder hit right there it's a size medium which kind of sucks so it's not gonna fit a lot of guys who are gonna want it but that's a really cool find. When I'm watching all these other videos of Depop sellers, they say to pick this up, so I did. And it's this Lowrider Chrome truck button up with the tribal print front and back. Very upset that this one doesn't fit me, but it's this like Novacek gingham, Burberry style, women's cut button up. This one is already listed on my Depop adorable Paris blues, like airbrush styled baseball tee. And it has grommets and a tie on this one. This one's missing the ties, unfortunately, but if you put any kind of tie in there, it'll be really cute. Um, but this is adorable. I was tempted to keep it for myself, but I mean, it. I'd probably wear it once and then sell it, but I mean, it's already listed on my Depop if anyone's interested, it's too cute. It's really cute cottage quarry style tank top with the tie up on it. And it's got, um, is it embroidered? Yeah, embroidered pretty flowers on it. There's a couple of uh, stains on the back. I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not. It's little bleach stains, but it's nothing major. Um, and then this adorable tag right here. Um, what is it, you babes? So cute, I'm a sucker for a good tag. This is the brand um, Fred is Red, and it's kind of like the David and Goliath. They might own them. I'm not really sure on that, but it's basically the same type of cartoons. But it says Bad Hair Day on it. They're like little Capri style pants. They're so comfortable and stretchy. This is a cute little midi skirt that has a micro mesh paisley layover on top of a um, navy blue like slip skirt. So this part's see-through. And then it's got this. And this is actually like late 90s, early 2000s, Forever 21. 
And this looks like something that Lizzie McGuire would wear. I know I always say that, but I've been finding that stuff lately that just reminds me of Lizzie McGuire and I can't help but say it. Next one I'm keeping for myself because I've been total like just so into this color green right here, which I actually thrifted this shirt as well. And I'm a sucker for anything with baby doll heads on it. I don't know why I'm, I just am. And uh, so this cable knit zip up hooded sweater jacket is too pretty. I love this color green. This next piece is pretty distressed and I'm thinking about keeping it for myself. Um, unless someone's interested in it, you can let me know in the comments or, or DM me on Instagram. But this same color green, very fairy core style skirt. And it's got some holes on it and some bleach stains and there was a couple of safety pins in it when I found it, but I love that. That gives it so much character. It means someone loved the crap out of that before I got my hands on it. And it's still in very good condition. It's got like micro mesh on it. I just can't wait to wear this. This is so pretty. I don't know why I just held that like that. What the f is that? The next piece I have is very like Courtney Love, Kinder Hoary inspired. And it's just this like really stretchy material, cotton, floral baby doll dress. Has lettuce hem and some like scalloped trim right here. Really pretty. Can dress it up or down. You have a lot of options with that one. And this one I might wear a couple times this spring and then list it up on my Depop as well. I don't know, it just depends on how I can style it, but I think this is too cute. It's by the brand Blair. I think this is a 90s piece, but this strawberry dress with the little pockets on the side right here, and it's a little tank dress right here. It has, oh, it's just too cute. This would be so cute with platforms. I also know I say that with everything, but Platforms look good with everything, okay, you guys? Bite me on it, I don't care. That's what I think. This next piece is this really pretty dead stock. It's actually from Target, which, whatever. Um, I thrifted it, so I got it for cheaper. Really pretty, um, like, cottage quarry spring dress. I'm so excited to wear this. I'm probably gonna keep this for a while and then sell it on my Depop after I wear it. It's so pretty, like, it's gonna be so comfortable. It's a nice cottony, like, I can't wait to, like, Maybe do like a little picnic shoot with this or something. That'd be so cute. This super cool mesh, like floral little dress. It's definitely see-through. I mean, if you're cool with wearing just bra and panties under that, you do you, boo. Um, I wear biker, I would wear biker shorts under this and probably just a little bra. I think that'd be fine. Like, that's so, that'd be so cute for spring. It's got a little lettuce hem, like a little bit of it, not much. Then it's got a little slit right here. It's just so dainty and pretty. Love the powdery pastel colors on it. I'll have this listed on my Depop in the next few days as well. Next thing is this super cool Static X hoodie. And it has a logo on the front and then it says Static X down the sleeve. And then on the back, like bottom hem area, it says Static X in flames. Wow, that lighting is terrible. I'm sorry, you guys. Thought this was too cool. It does have a lot of like I think oil stains on it, but that does not matter to me. I love that. It's listed on my Depop already as well. And it's this really pretty fairy core brown flowy skirt. And it's got like a brown under slip as well. The next one is awesome to me because this is one of my favorite bands, still one of my favorite bands and has been since like middle school. This brand new band t-shirt. I know the shirt's not very interesting, but anytime I see anything brand new, I just pick it up anyway because it's very hard to come by. Like, it's not easy. It's kind of like Crystal Castle's merch. And I know they're like uh, like mid-2000s to modern bands, but like some of these bands are just really hard to come by with their merch. Like Little Peep, Ghost Mane, there's tons of them that I just can't get my hands on for less than like $80. And I'm like, mm, why? The next piece is this brown micro mesh tank top with black polka dots and black lace. I actually wore this with an outfit with that brown skirt I just showed you and it was really cute. The next piece I have is this beautiful leopard print mesh, uh, not skirt, dress with like slits on both sides and then it has these really pretty gold and silver rhinestones around like the bust area. This is listed on my Depop already. This next one is way too cool. This next one is so pretty. Um, when we found it, I did. I saw the back of it first and I had no idea it was a Gwen Stefani shirt, but okay, I'm gonna show you the back first. This artwork is gorgeous. 
I would have bought this regardless if it was Gwen Stefani or not, but this happens to be a Gwen Stefani t-shirt because this is the front. It says Gwen Stefani, and then it has a quote from Harajuku Girls, the song, right here on the chest. I think this is such a cool merch piece. I'm very sad that it's a size small because a lot of people, like a certain amount of people can't wear it, but whoever can get their hands on that because it's too tight for me, unfortunately, but whoever can get their hands on that and wear it, you're blessed, honey. Yo, this next shirt, this next shirt is wild. It's gonna be one of those shirts that all the big vintage accounts are going to jack the apps, just jack the price up too much. But I got this for a steal. This is amazing. This is gonna be so hard to let go later on. Jennifer's Body Movie Tee from 2009, originally sold at Hot Topic. This is in like brand new condition. I don't know if this is ever worn or not. And it's such a sick graphic, mauling somebody and just munching on it under the moonlight. This one is definitely staying in my personal for a while. I'm sorry, you guys, but it, it, it has to. I've been searching for that movie t-shirt, not that one specifically, just any Jennifer's Body movie t-shirt for like two years now. And that's the first one I've ever been able to find. That is such a good movie, like it's, I feel like it's very underrated, but that's just my opinion. I stand Megan Fox and I stand that movie. It was already listed on my Depop and it was very hard for me to do because this thing is so comfortable, so versatile, so pretty. Um, this all over print, abstract shape, purple and green, like, um, what is this? Like a terry cloth knitted material and it has a zipper on it as well. Front and back all over. This reminds me of something that like UNIF would put out right now, like to mimic something vintage. And I'm pretty sure this is from, it's made in Hong Kong. So I'm pretty sure it's from like the early to mid 2000s. So that's pretty cool. Like this is a very quality sweater, like jacket thing. This one's so cute and it just gives me just, you can just make so many outfits with this. You can wear it in the rain. You can wear it when it's not raining. You can do whatever the hell you want with this jacket. But this one is amazing. This vinyl, sheer lilac metallic -y, whatever you have it collared limited to like rain jacket so pretty has two buttons on the side or not two buttons two pockets on the side it has buttons on it but it also has a zipper as well so if the buttons do end up ever falling off like you can either replace them or you can just have it with the zipper i think that's really cool because i hardly ever see jackets like that with zippers as well so Good on you, limited to. Next one is good, gonna be very good for spring and summer. It's this self-esteem brand um, halter top and it's brown and blue, like turquoise blue. This next one I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep for myself just because of how distressed the front of it is. It has a lot of holes in the front and they're obvious on it. But it's this Ed Hardy shirt that says, what does it say? It says massage and bathhouse. So cute has a bunch of holes in it, as you can see, and then it does have a, or a back as well. Um, if anyone sees this and wants me to list this on Depop for them, I will, but until then, I'm just probably gonna keep it for myself because I never keep any Ed Hardy pieces that I ever get because they just do so well on Depop, so I just end up listening there because I'm like, I really have the money um, because I literally go nowhere, so what does it matter what I'm wearing, to be honest? I haven't had enough coffee today, which is good for me because I'm usually drinking like four or five cups a day, which is terrible for my health and my sleeping schedule, which is already <laughs> But I can tell that I'm lacking on the coffee. Sorry, bear with me. All right, the next one we have is this really cute t-shirt that says American Beauty on it with a butterfly with the American flag on it. Super cute, what does it say down here? I don't know, I have, oh. It has a Jersey's like logo embroidered right here. That's odd, I never see that. But yeah, it's on this Jersey's tag, like women's tag, and then it has that embroidery. That's cool. Next one is a really sick t-shirt. It's on a Tennessee River tag. And it says John Lennon T from 1996. And then it also has this quote on the back. Next one I found is this <clears throat> really sick Las Vegas tee. I don't usually pick up like destination tees unless they're like, I just don't, I, uh, 
I just honestly, there's a lot of that oversaturated on Depop right now, so I just rather would not pick that up at the moment because I have a lot of other stuff that I would rather list and have on my Depop. I don't know. But this one's really cool. This is a Las Vegas tee and it has this really cute, posh girl on it. Like, I'm thinking about wearing this a few times before I list it, but I'm definitely gonna list it. She's so cute. Her little earring, like, oh, okay. I don't know how, why I'm holding it like that. Her little earring is so cute. Go off. All right, next one is a cool band t-shirt. Um, I mean, some of y'all might not think it's cool, whatever, it's pretty cool. I just always think it's cool to find band t-shirts. It's on a AAA tag, size medium, and this is a Switchfoot band t-shirt. Just thought I'd throw that in there. All right, the next one's a good Depop piece. It's really cool too. It's a House of Blues shirt, front and back. This is the back, iconic logo of House of Blues, and it has a House of Blues tag on it as well. And then this is the front of it. And this next one is a really cute baby tee. It's My Little Ponies, but it said, oh my God, it says OMG Ponies, and it's spelt like pwned. And I'm not really sure like if it's referencing anything specific. So if you know what this graphic is specifically from, let me know. I just thought it was super cute. This next piece is a kid's piece, but it's very stretchy. A lot of stuff I do buy is kids, by the way. Um, but I just take my measuring tape or just hold it up to my body and see what, how much it would stretch. And a lot of the times the kid's tees will be the perfect baby tee. So, this one is really cute. This is Knitworks for Kids. And it's this really pretty fuzzy, glittery blue material. So cute. And stuff like this is very on trend right now anyway. I don't think it ever went out of style. I mean, I've been wearing this stuff since the early 2000s anyway. So I guess I was out of style for a while, but whatever, I don't really care. I try not to follow trends. Um, I just like shit because I like shit. All right, this next one is super cool. It's also a used size, so it'll fit like an extra small, small, probably pretty well. It's this Tweety Bird knitted sweater. It's so cute, I couldn't leave it. I know this will fit somebody really well. The next one would be a really cool, it's really short because it's a kid's sweater, but it's a really cute crop. This adorable teddy bear. Oh my gosh, even the buttons are little bears. That's, I couldn't leave it. It fits me and I have a bigger bust area, so I know this will fit. It'll fit from anywhere from an extra small to a medium. I know it will. So cute. It's got that on the sleeve. There's nothing on the back, but it's so adorable. Very like Moschino, Marc Jacobs, like all that. They're doing all that teddy bear stuff. Like I just, I think it goes. Like that with this bag, too cute. And the next thing is this beautiful trench coat. It's so, it's like, it would be the perfect jacket for a brat's outfit. This brown coat, oh my gosh, fur lining. And then the back, it's like blocked with the fur. Oh my gosh. That was more of a pretty penny. This one was $15, but I'm sorry. I'm definitely paying that for something that gorgeous. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, I know it was a pretty long one. But yeah, if you wanna follow all of our social medias, I'll have mine and Robbie's linked down in the description. Thanks for watching, bye.